Good morning and hello students. Welcome to my channel Incredible Fitness Question. I am Dr. Komal and today we are going to learn tracks. Now initially we have seen what are the types of tracks but today we are much more interested in detailing about the ascending tracks. They are the spinothalamic tract, dorsal column tract and the spinocerebellar tract. So today we will discuss about only spinothalamic tract. But before that let's see what are the ascending pathways. Ascending pathways are of two types, specific ascending pathways and non-specific ascending pathway. Now let's consider this is your spinal cord, this is thalamus and brainstem and this is your cerebral cortex. Ascending pathway in the spinal cord and the brain that carry the information about single type of stimuli. They are known as specific ascending pathways. Example are touch and temperature as you can see here. While non-specific ascending tracts, the neurons they are activated by sensory units of different types and which signal only general information without telling us what is happening where. Hence, they are known as a non-specific ascending tracts. Specific ascending pathways, they transmit the information from somatic receptors like receptors in skeletal muscle, tendon and joints. So student, this is the structure of spinothalamic tract. There are two types, lateral spinothalamic tract and anterior spinothalamic tract. Lateral, the function of pain and temperature and anterior, they are crude touch and pressure. The sensations are carried from opposite side of the body. Now this is a section of spinal cord which shows the tracts, lateral and anterior. These are the sacral fibers. The neurons of the dorsal root ganglion, they form the first order of the neuron of this tract, they enter the spinal cord, from here the second order of the neuron begins and it ascends upwards. Similarly, little bit upward, lumbar fibers also join in similar way, they cross immediately to the opposite sides and above you can see these are the thoracic and the cervical fibers. The together they form the spinal laminar sky as shown here. Now let's see the arrangement of the fibers, if you see the laminar sky, the outermost fibers are the sacral one, inner to this are the lumbar fibers, then thoracic and finally the cervical. As this tract ascends upwards, it unites with the internal arcuate fibers from the opposite side and forms the medial laminar sky. They ascend upwards to the ventroposterior nucleus of the thalamus and finally Go to the sensory cortex area number 3, 1 and 2. So this is the diagram which is depicting all the tracks. Now let's see about the applied tapes dorsalis. It is the syphilistic infection of the spinal cord, syringomyelia. It could be a cavity or a cyst which could be acquired or hereditary in nature. Other are the hemisection of spinal cord also known as brown sequet syndrome and complete section of spinal cord. Thank you students to share, subscribe and like my channel.